Hello everyone, it's Shakia here and welcome to my channel, Locked and Loving It. Stick around if you want to see how I do Bantu knots on my sister locks. Now the first thing I like to do before any major styling is make sure my hair is damp. You can spritz with water, but for the purpose of this video, I will be washing my hair. Yes, I am still braiding and banding. Although I'm two years in, I have a very fine texture of hair in the front, so that section has yet to completely lock. I braid all the way down to the ends and band them tightly with rubber bands. Now you don't have to band as tightly as I do, but because of the texture of my hair, I think I need a bit more security at the ends. So I add large braided and banded sections all over my head, and now I wash with the starter shampoo. After washing, you can dry your hair with a chamois towel or a microfiber towel. It absorbs a lot of the moisture and you don't have to worry about the lint residue from cotton towels. Next, I spritz with the herbal spray. Number one, it smells good and it helps moisturize my scalp. And now, I'm ready to begin styling. I use large clips to section my hair and separate into small to medium sections. Twisting wise, there are two different methods you can use. You can do the two strand twist method or you can just twist the entire section all the way down like I'm doing. Either method works. Now make sure you aren't creating too much tension by making the knots too tight. Also, it's easier for the knots to dry if there's a little room to breathe. There are two ways you can dry your hair. You can let it air dry, which is my preferred method, or you can use a blow dryer, which is what I'm going to use because I'm going out tonight. After putting these cool, scary spice knots all over my head, it's finally time to dry. Now I'm using this cool thing to dry my hair. I don't remember the name of it, so I'll put the link in the description. 40 minutes later, here is the finished result. Now it's time to take down your Bantu knots. As you can see, I could have let it dry for a little while longer, so some of my curls may not hold as long, but this is the end result. At this point, I'm just separating my locks and fluffing my hair. I have a fresh retightening so my scalp is hella exposed. So I just separate my locks at the roots to try to fill in the spaces with my fingers. And there you have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be releasing videos every single week and I don't want you to miss out on all the things I plan to share. Thanks for watching and see you next time.